Yo, what is good, boys? In today's video, I'm going to be talking about why you guys might not be winning as many Super Bowls as you want and how to help you guys win more Super Bowls. Now, also, before I start that, I want to talk about some things that are going to be happening, like Friday. Friday, if you guys do not know, I like doing live streams. I know a lot of people enjoy it, and I enjoy it. I'm going to be live streaming on Friday. Now, if you guys do enjoy watching live streams and you guys enjoy my YouTube videos, there's a good chance you guys will enjoy my live streams. So Friday, I'm not exactly sure what time. Maybe 7, 8, 7, 7 30 it might start. Really just depends on how much time I have. Though I it will be later on. Uh I'll probably I'll make a community post about it, maybe. I don't know, something like that. But yes, yeah, so around seven to eight. Please don't get on YouTube at seven, just waiting for it. Maybe hop on at seven thirty. You know, check if it's not there. Also, make sure you guys have notifications on. Actually, so when it is on. If you guys are sub, just turn. You guys aren't, don't have notifications on. Turn it on so you guys know when. Cause like, some people have missed the live streams. So, I don't want that to happen. If you guys do want to see it, I'd recommend to. You don't have to. I don't want to be that YouTuber that says turn on notifications. I don't really care. But if you like the live streams, I would recommend to so you get notified. When I do live stream. Anyway, alright, let's stop talking about live streams, all that good stuff. Let's get into that actual video. So, uh, Super Bowl, or not Super Bowl, yeah, one more Super Bowls. Number one, Meta, M E T A. When you think of Meta, what does it define? Most efficient tactics possible, uh, available. What is it actually? It's just like the most fun place. Defensive Meta, DP Fire, and FS Zone Blitz. If you guys don't know that, those are like the two most popular, I would personally say. Might be one I'm missing, but I would say those are the two. You guys might not run it. You guys can run If you guys want to run 5-2 or whatever it is, run 5-2 and have fun in Madden. I don't, I don't care. You know, that's your decision. But, what's it called? I'd recommend to at least know what it is. Why? Because that's going to give you understanding how to beat the plays, how to stop them, all that good stuff. Uh, for example, 6-1. If you guys, if you see someone being a 6-1 demon bagging you, but you notice he's running cover four quarters, guess what? Run halfback versus under at a bunch offset. If you have that or any verticals, that has a tight end wheel route. Or uh, you can also just streak your running back, stuff like that, because that will get... In between the user who's got like you know who will probably be on that RB so slot receiver, and in between that hard flat and that hard flat you know it's not gonna be there because of where it's like the linebacker is located. So you can only throw that. That's an example. But what's another one? Um, D fire two. You can run like a flat route maybe or whatever you want to run or a deep post. Why? Because that will probably that's a good chance of bombing the cover too. So that's, you know, that's just some stuff to, like, keep in mind. So, yeah, I would recommend to always know the plays. Deep Fire 2, FS Zone Blitz. Those two are the most random plays. Normally, if you guys do know, that Free Safety normally actually blitzes. That, that's what FS stands for, Free Safety Zone Blitz, if you guys did not know. He's blitzing. A lot of people put him into a 3 rec hook, middle read, whatever it is, double Mabel him, something like that, you know. So always keep an eye out for that, or they blitz him, you know. Just ends up being the decision. But those who play on defense. Now on offense, you have halfback versus under, which I would personally say is probably the best verticals play. I know it's like it's a verticals play. There's not really a difference between that and the gun bunch one, but I really love that play and I feel like because of the aligning with the like the receivers or you know, receivers and tight end, I feel like it's the best. In my personal opinion. You can have other ones, and I'm talking about like that one. You know, you have like the spread one, which is actually the spread the one with like five wide verticals is actually pretty good. But yeah, it just ends up depending on decision. So yeah, those are like the best verticals. But like that's a popular phase, like vertical. So always wanna make sure you guys have like two or three really deep players. But now, double post. If you don't know what double post is, it is probably the most run offensive play in the game. It's really hard to stop. You gotta have mid zones, deep zones. You still even wanna use it. Like the the post route is such a weird post route because it's like a post route, but like on a weird angle. It It's a really good route. Um, and you, like you can really throw over your user, your, someone's user. I have 95 overall Donald Parham. 
Six eight. Six foot eight. Ninety five speed. 89 Excel, so that's what he's doing, uh, the best Excel. He's the user. Do you want to know something? This dude couldn't get the ball. He threw it over my head. If you don't think that is make, doesn't make it super good, is that it will get over years, and that's why it's so good. That's just why, sadly. Um, And also, just because, you know, it gets open a lot. It beats man 100%. It can also, you know, just kind of beat zone a lot of time. But what's it called? Again, when you know it, it will help you understand the meta, which will help you win more games against those bums who run double post every play. I'd recommend, like, you know, cover four, whatever you want to run, but, you know, like, cover four, stuff like that. Cover three. Cover three, you need to have a deep in, otherwise, or deep out, too, so, like, deep zone. And pick R so he actually makes sure he's aggro to the ball for him to not bomb you or use it. And it's also good because, like, the other, like, the tight end route can actually be hard flat, so you kind of want to man him up normally. But, yeah, anyway, let's get into that. Let's talk about other things. Number one, I'm going to now go into things that actually help you, like, make dudes quick games. Number one. No, I think this, I'll say it anyway. So, number one is very lucky things for you. I'm not even joking. Sometimes you might tie it up, but he'll quit because he's mad because maybe you moss him somehow. I'm not saying do that, by the way. Please don't. It's just, but if you throw a pass that, like, there are passes, you know, he get, they get annoyed, they can't cover. Kids will quit. So, you know, stuff like that you always want to know. And then also interceptions. If they throw an interception right away, they might quit straight up. Unless they're winning, then they probably won't. But, yeah. So, it's just kind of, Weird. Like, kids will literally just quit. And I guess I understand, you know, they don't want to waste their time if they're going to be losing, stuff like that. But, yeah, once you guys can get to a two-possession game, I feel like you're not safe, but it's going to help you. Um, also, kind of just... I don't know how to word it. Um, kind of just being able to... Okay, yeah. Stopping something he keeps throwing. And I know, like, that might sound easy. It's, sometimes it's not straight up. Like, you might not be able to stop something because you don't want to get out of that defense because it will let other things up. When people might run, like, that's the annoying thing about Dollar, but it's, like, a smart thing. There's, like, no one in the box where they just run on you, and, you know, then you start 6-1, and he dots you up. So, well, maybe not dot you up, but another run defense, like, 5-2 or something. And that's just how it works. Now, what, you know, do you do? You kind of just want to use her. That's what I would recommend. And then also manning up. Manning up. Really good. If he's running tech spots on you, just man him up. Trust me. It's going to save a lot of your life. Also, only have three down linemen. I would recommend. I think four is good, but, you know, seven in coverage, honestly, is barely enough. In my personal opinion. Because just with how strong offense is now. But, um, yeah. So, back. I'm going to talk about meta again. Meta. You guys want to know meta because that will help you beat it. Stuff like that. You guys always want to remember, by the way, that momentum is big. A lot of people forget how big and important momentum is. Momentum is a huge factor on if you win or lose the game. I'm telling you something right now. Momentum can literally make it annoying, especially if you have that one where you can't see the passes. You don't, you're not guaranteed to win, but like you can. So, yeah, boys, remember, meta, all that good stuff. Make sure you guys know it, at least, so you can beat it. Uh, please like this video if you guys found it helpful. And please sub if you're new, because we're on that road to 1 point. Well, we're trying to at 1.1K soon, but we're also on that road to the big 2K by the end of the year. Let's do it, boys. Have an amazing day. Please like this video if you guys enjoyed it. And, yeah, have a great day. Peace out.